Hi guys, in the pathology of blood vessels, the next important topic is about uh, eosinophilic granulomatosis with polyangiitis. So at present we are calling this disease as eosinophilic granulomatosis with polyangiitis but previously we used to call it as church strauss syndrome which is also called as the church strauss disease. So the disease name is church strauss syndrome church strauss syndrome so this church strauss syndrome is abbreviated as e g p a eosinophilic granulomatosis polyangiitis is the new name for the disease called as church strauss syndrome so it is also called as allergic granulomatosis and angiitis and remember that it is a multi systemic disorder multi systemic disorder it is a multi systemic disorder characterized by important symptoms called as allergic rhinitis allergic rhinitis and next one is asthma second one is asthma and the third one is the prominent peripheral blood eosinophilia eosinophilia so prominent prominent peripheral eosinophilia so if you find these three important findings then we can say that we can come to a conclusion that it is church strauss syndrome but the latest guidelines from american college of rheumatology provides a six classification criteria what you can see in this table out of which four are required for the diagnosis of church strauss syndrome and this table has sensitivity of 85 percent and specificity of 99 percent so what is this american college of rheumatology classification criteria we already said that three important findings are allergic rhinitis asthma and eosinophilia which is prominent peripheral eosinophilia so the american college of rheumatology also suggest six findings out of which four are important for the any four are important for the diagnosis of uh, the church straws they are first one is asthma second is the peripheral blood eosinophilia which is greater than 10 percent neuropathy migratory pulmonary infiltrates paranasal sinus abnormalities and tissue is nuffles so out of all the six findings if four are enough if four are seen then we can say that it is a diagnosis for church strauss syndrome right so what is the average onset of the disease average onset this is the mcq question guys so what is the average onset of the disease it is approximately 3 third to fifth decade but in the exam the language is something different they will ask you what is the mean age for church strauss syndrome the mean age is 40 years the mean age is 40 years mcq question the mean age for the church strauss is 40 years and remember that this egpa does not exhibit gender predominance so no gender predominance is seen in such cases now this egpa is actually classified as the vasculitis of small and medium sized arteries so it is classified under vasculitis vasculitis of small and medium sized vessels so it is a vasculitis of small and medium sized vessels that they are particularly arteries 
So although the vasculitis is not often apparent in the initial phases of the disease, but in later findings, obviously you will see the vasculitis as an important feature. But in the exam, what they will ask you is, we said that it is a multisystemic disorder. So what is the most commonly involved organ? Or they will say what is the most commonly affected organ? Or what is the second most common involved uh, organ? So remember here, here I will write two important MCQs, most commonly involved organ. The most commonly involved organ is the lung. This is the first and second most common involved organ is the skin. These are the two important MCQs. Most commonly involved organ in the church straws is the lung. Second most common is the skin. This is what we need to know. So what is about the pathogenesis of the church strauss syndrome? It is of unknown etiology. So the exact pathogenesis of uh, church strauss is unknown. But the anti-neutrophilic cytoplasmic antibodies called as ANCA, ANCA are detected approximately in 40 to 60 percent of the cases and this is also very important MCQ. So what is the most common cause if they ask? Most common cause is idiopathic, unknown etiology, important MCQ. In the pathogenesis, idiopathic, unknown etiology, but approximately in 40 to 60 percent of the cases of church straws, 40 to 60 percent of the cases of church straws has ANCA positive, ANCA positive, important MCQ question, right? About 40 to 60 percent of the patients are ANCA positive vasculitis. However, it is not exactly known even till today whether these anti-nuclear cytoplasmic antibodies have any pathogenic role in the development of church straws or whether they are just reflecting one end of the spectrum of the EGPA manifestations, but till it is not known. But it is said that in 40 to 60 percent of the cases of EGPA, ANCA is positive. This is what we need to know. So what are the important MCQs guys? The three important manifestations are allergic rhinitis, asthma as well as eosinophilia. But according to the American Rheumatology Association, we have like uh, different criteria. Out of six, minimum four are required for the diagnosis of church straws. And uh, it is categorized under vasculitis, that is small and medium sized vessels that is arteries are involved. Generally it is seen in third to fifth decades of life but if they ask in the exam what is the mean age MCQ question the mean age is 40 years. The most common cause is idiopathic. It is a multi-systemic disorder. So the most common organ involved is the lung. Second most common involved organ is the skin. So as I already mentioned so many times that it is a multi-systemic disorder which means it can affect any organ system including cardiovascular system, gastrointestinal, renal like central nervous system. But remember that the vasculitis of extra pulmonary organs for example this is also important MCQ. Here let me write all these boxes are like for MCQ points. What is the most common extra pulmonary organ involved in EGPA, right? Extra pulmonary organ, heart. Heart is the most common extra pulmonary organ which is involved in church straws and it is the one which is responsible for morbidity and mortality associated with EGPA. So who is responsible for mortality? morbidity, 
morbidity and mortality. So, morbidity as well as mortality in church distress is due to cardiovascular manifestations and not because of the lung. So, whenever you are solving MCQs, you have to read the question carefully what exactly the examiner is asking. The morbidity as well as mortality in the church straws is because of cardiovascular manifestations. So, there is a reason cardiac involvement remains the primary cause of death in the church straws. Now, let us talk about the diagnosis. The diagnosis is usually confirmed by a biopsy of extra pulmonary tissue. So, lung biopsy is usually uncommon in this very important uh, MCQ question. Even though the most common organ involved is the lung, they will try to confuse you with the question in the options they will give you like lung biopsy. But lung biopsy often not performed in the church straws. The most common biopsy is the extra pulmonary tissue which is skin, nerve as well as muscle. So, let me write, let me draw another box here for like you know diagnosis, diagnosis, question. So, diagnosis is usually done by means of biopsy, right? Yes, biopsy. This is the question. So, biopsy of what? Extra pulmonary. They are skin, nerve and muscle. These are usually performed. And if you see in this image, this is the image of uh, the frontal chest x-ray. It is clearly demonstrating a reticular nodular pattern in the upper lobes bilaterally. And also, we can find that there is an increase in the lung volumes. So, this is what is about x-ray. And at last, let us talk about the treatment, which is therapy. So, when we talk about the treatment over here, therapy, systemic glucocorticoids have been the primary treatment for EGPA. So, what is the treatment of choice in church straw? So, I do not have a space here. Okay, Let me draw another final box here for the treatment. This is also MCQ point for the therapy. Therapy, very important MCQ question. The treatment of choice for the EGPA if they ask or what is a like treatment of choice for better prognosis. Sometimes they will ask you a question like this. So, systemic corticosteroids. Systemic corticosteroids. Example, the methyl prednisone that is dosing starts at uh, 1 milligram per kg per day. But dosing generally they do not ask in the exam. So, let me write about uh, methyl uh, prednisone. So, methyl prednisone, right? But generally, if they ask about dosing, remember 1 milligram per kg per day in both adults as well as in the pediatric patients. But sometimes in most advanced cases, IV pulses may be required, but with a maximum doses of 15 milligrams per kg per day are recommended these days. So, this is what we need to know about uh, the Church-Strauss syndrome.